Hi, I am Sohail. Today I am going to talk about cytoplasm and protoplasm. The main points of the lesson are what is cytoplasm, protoplasm, nucleoplasm, cytosol, organelles, inclusion and cyclosis. Cytoplasm consists of everything present inside the plasma membrane of the cell excluding the nucleus in a eukaryotic cell that is called cytoplasm. The water in cytoplasm makes up about two thirds of cells weight and gives the cell many of its properties. Cytoplasm is the fluid that consists of all the contents outside the nucleus but inside the cell membrane of the cell that is called cytoplasm. So look at this slide. Here is the nucleus and nucleus is bounded by double nuclear membrane and here is the cell membrane. So inside the cell membrane and outside the nuclear membrane all the contents which are present here that is called cytoplasm. And cytoplasm it contains cytoplasmic organelles which are little organs and certain other structures we will talk about that. What is protoplasm? Protoplasm is the living part of cell that is surrounded by plasma membrane. So protoplasm it is colorless material consisting of living part of cell including the cytoplasm, nucleus and organelles. Cytoplasm that is a part of protoplasm. So it means cytoplasm plus nucleus they are collectively known as protoplasm. So inside the cell membrane and outside the nuclear membrane is cytoplasm. Cytoplasm plus nucleus they are collectively known as protoplasm. Now what is nucleoplasm or karyoplasm? So nuclear membrane separates the substance of the nucleus from the surrounding cytoplasm. That substance is known as nucleoplasm or karyoplasm. It is highly gelatinous and sticky liquid which supports chromosomes and nucleoli. So the contents which are present inside the nuclear membrane that is called nucleoplasm or karyoplasm. Nucleoplasm or karyoplasm that contains chromatin and nucleolus. What is the difference between protoplast and protoplasm? Protoplasm that is cytoplasm and nucleus they are collectively known as protoplasm. And protoplast is cell membrane plus cytoplasm plus nucleus they are collectively known as protoplast. So protoplast is entire biological cell excluding the cell wall. So this is a plant cell in plant cell the outermost layer is cell wall inside the cell wall is cell membrane and inside the cell membrane is cytoplasm excluding the nucleus and nucleus and cytoplasm they are collectively known as protoplasm protoplasm plus cell membrane that is called protoplast. Let us watch this simulation to focus on typical cell structure. There are many kinds of animal and plant cells that have different architectures and do different things. But many of the parts of these cells are the same and have the same functions. If we created a typical animal cell it might look something like this. Even though no specific animal cell looks exactly like this one, it contains features shared by most such cells. Surrounding the outside of the cell is the cell membrane. This membrane is very thin, only about one one hundred thousandth of a millimeter thick. A photograph of a cell membrane taken with the help of an electron microscope reveals that it has three layers two dark outer layers sandwiching a clear middle layer. The cell membrane acts as a boundary between a cell and the environment outside, but it also allows certain substances to pass in and out. Particles of food, for example, can enter through the membrane so that they can be used as raw materials for manufacturing and as fuel for energy. Oxygen can also enter a cell to be used for burning fuel. Other things pass out of the cell through the membrane, including waste like carbon dioxide gas and important chemical products that the cell has manufactured. Inside the cell membrane, there are many different structures called organelles, which literally means little organs. One organelle, the nucleus, 
is the control center of the cell. The nucleus has a membrane that has pores in it. These allow certain molecules to enter or leave the nucleus. Inside the nucleus, there is fiber-like material called chromosomes. Chromosomes contain the cell's genetic information. This genetic information is like an architect's blueprint that determines how wood, glass, and other materials are used to build a house. The genetic blueprint in a person's chromosomes determines how different proteins are put together. These proteins are responsible for physical features, such as the color of a person's hair and eyes, the shape of her nose, and even whether she is susceptible to certain kinds of diseases. From the information contained in the chromosome blueprints, the nucleus sends messages to the cell's cytoplasm, which makes up everything else that is inside the cell. The cytoplasm is composed of water, minerals, vitamins, salts, a variety of chemicals, as well as different organelles. Cytoplasm, it consists of three major components. That is cytosol, organelles, and inclusion. What is cytosol? Cytosol, it is the viscous, semi-transparent fluid in which cytoplasmic elements are suspended. It is complex mixture with properties of a colloid and it's a true solution. What is the composition of cytosol? It largely contains water plus proteins, salts, sugar and other solutes are present in cytosol. Cytosol is the site where chemical reactions takes place and these reactions are catalyzed by enzymes. So enzymes, they are present in cytosol, they are involved in chemical reactions and these reactions, they provide the building blocks for maintaining cell structure, function and growth. What is metabolism? Metabolism, it is the sum of chemical reactions, mean total chemical reactions taking place in a cell that is called metabolism. Metabolic pathways that takes place in cytosol that include protein biosynthesis, pentose phosphate pathway, glycolysis, gluconeogenesis, and glycogenolysis. These are metabolic pathways that takes place in cytosol. Organelles are little organs which are present in cytoplasm. These are metabolic machinery like ribosomes, they are involved in the synthesis of protein. So they are protein factories. Endoplasmic reticulum are membrane factories. Mitochondria, that is the powerhouse of the cell. So, so these are metabolic machineries present in a cell. Each type of organelle carries out specific function, like, like they the are involved in the synthesis of proteins and so on. Organelles are classified into three categories. Some organelles, they are not bounded by any membrane. So they are non-membranous cell organelles. Some organelles, they are bounded by single membrane. They are called unimembranous cell organelles and some organelles they are bounded by two membranes so they are called bimembranous cell organelle non membranous cell organelles are ribosomes and centrosome unimembranous cell organelles are golgi bodies lysosomes peroxisomes vacuole and endoplasmic reticulum double membranous cell organelles that is nucleus mitochondria and chloroplast what are inclusions Inclusions are chemical substances that may or may not be present depending on cell type. Examples are stored nutrients like glycogen. We know that glycogen is stored in liver cells and muscles. Lipid droplets, they are stored in fat cells. Pigment, melanin granules, they are stored in skin and hair cells. What is cytoplasmic streaming? Cytoplasmic streaming that is also known as cyclosis. And cyclosis is the process by which fluid cytoplasm inside a given cell is moved around in currents so that the nutrients, proteins and organelles, they move from one place to another place. Cytoplasmic streaming in unicellular organisms helps in their movement. Cyclosis, it is powered by a network of motor protein fibers which are positioned just inside the cell membrane. Let's watch this simulation to examine the movement of cytoplasm within a plant cell.
Let us watch this simulation to observe the composition of cytoplasm. The cytoplasm is a portion of the cell that contains everything between the outer plasma membrane and the nuclear envelope. All of the structures inside the cell are sitting in a jelly-like fluid called the cytosol. Cytosol is made mostly out of water. You may have heard that the human body is as much as 60% water. This is true because the cytosol inside cells is made mostly of water. It is because the cytoplasm is mostly made of water that it doesn't provide very much support to the structure of the cell. In the human body, our skeleton of bones provides us with structure and support. In the cell, a structure called the cytoskeleton serves the same purpose. Covering just about every part of the cell, other than the things inside the nuclear envelope, the cytoplasm is a general term that can be used to represent many of the diverse contents inside the cell. To sum up, cytoplasm, it consists of everything inside the plasma membrane of the cell, excluding the nucleus in a eukaryotic cell. Protoplasm, it is the living part of a cell that is surrounded by plasma membrane. So cytoplasm and nucleus, they are collectively known as protoplasm. What is nucleoplasm? Nucleoplasm, it is the nuclear membrane that separates the substance of the nucleus from the surrounding cytoplasm. So the contents which are present inside the nuclear membrane that is known as nucleoplasm, it is also known as karyoplasm. Cytoplasm, it consists of cytosol, organelles and inclusion. Cytosol, it is viscous semi-transparent fluid in which the cytoplasmic elements are suspended. Organelles are little organs which are factories, they have their own function or role in the cell and inclusion are chemical substances, they are present depending on the cell types. What is cyclosis? Cyclosis is the process by which fluid cytoplasm is moved around in current. Let us watch this slideshow.